Hi guys, hello everyone. It's Rebecca here. I'm so sorry. You guys don't kill me. I've been I'm a final year grad um gra uh, med student. You guys know I need to graduate. I have a lot on my plate. I'm so 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 sorry for the hiatus. Today I'm back and today for my special subscribers i want to take it to my university i want you guys to see what i'm doing in school so today's video is a fun video i have emergency medicine this week and we're doing a lot i'm taking you right now i'm taking you to the simulation center i'm approaching the simulation center right now so i have emergency medicine today uh, and we use like mannequins to you know we are not fully doctors so we are just playing doctors for now which is still interesting soon i'll be an actual doctor and you guys oh i'm so so terrified so this is the entrance of my school look how it doesn't look really pretty from the outside but believe me when we get to the inside you will love it um these are students just chilling with their friends you know how universities are you know you just go out with your friends catch up and everything so these are students so let's go inside and let me show you my pretty simulation center in Medical University of Silesia in Katowice. So this is the entrance area. Um, by the right, you can see the cloakroom. It's quite empty because it's hot. So less people are wearing winter coats. Now we are in the inside and I'm handing over to my real I'm self. I'm having my class in the simulation center we have emergency medicine so i'll show you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do intubation some suturing just many things that you do in emergency department when you have a patient also um pneumothorax like um, needle aspiration just everything so before i take you inside the room for the emergency training it's a simulation center so it's like a mannequin I will just show you around the simulation center. This is it. Um, this is a screen. These are waiting chairs. It's got one floor. Maybe I will just go upstairs and show you guys what the upstairs look like. Got bathroom. This is a bathroom. The ladies' bathroom is over there after the second screen. Um, I'll just take you guys quickly upstairs so that you guys will see what the up view looks like. It's so nice. Upstairs. This is the view from the up. <laughs> Guys, thank you for listening to Order Rebecca. So I'm back. Um, more or less, this is all. So let's get let's go into the class, and I will show you what I do. As you can see here, these are wounds. This are injury. We use this to practice suturing. Obviously, you can see it's like, um, you know, practice. It looks like practice wound, like different cuts. So we use it to practice suturing. So I'll be doing some suturing. I will show you guys how I suture. Guys, um, I'm not very, very, I'm not the best at suturing. But let's see what I, I will just show you guys how I suture. So these are the suturing equipment, forceps, scissors, needle holder. This is my needle that I will use to suture my patients. As you can see, I've done a little bit of suturing on the other side of the mannequin. So I'll just do two to just for practical purposes so that you guys can see <coughs> how I do. Sorry about how I'm holding my forceps. As I said, I don't want to be a surgeon. 
but as a doctor you need to have a little skills in suturing so i'll just go in with my needle and put it in and gently to the other side guys you need to be careful because when you're dealing with real patients you need to be tender it's a skin you have to do it a little bit slowly and yeah with the i need shorter thread actually because it's better when the thread is shorter when you're suturing so i'm tying a knot right now um i try to tie when i'm tying a knot i do it twice so that it stays so i'll do my first knot and after i'm doing my first knot i'll try and make a knot again to keep the suture in place guys so here is the suture, the first one I did. It looks pretty well. I think I can suture up a broken heart. Come on. <laughs> I already did this one by the side. So this is my suture. So let's do something else right now. So here, I want to resuscitate a patient. Let's call him whoever your toxic ex was. Is having a cardiac arrest right now. He's about to die. <laughs> So right now, I'm trying, so right now I'm trying to intubate the patient. I'm trying to intubate this patient right here. I need a laryngoscope and this this guy. This guy. Okay. Wait, let me touch it. Let me okay, okay. I'll just gently put the laryngoscope as you can see the light is uh is on just put it to look for my way through to the track here I just want to secure the airways so I'm trying to put it uh, a little bit gently guys when you're dealing with mannequins, just consider it a human being and be gentle as you can. So, oh, I'm going in. That's smooth. I'm going in. I think I'm almost in the track. Yeah, yeah, I am. So, I've secured the airways. I'll just take up the laryngoscope. It was a guide for me. And I'll take the range. It's a syringe. And... I'll use it like it's used to because there's a little bit of air that you have to put to secure the um, tube in order for it to stay in place. You don't want it moving, you know. You just want it to be in place. So here I'm taking the bag mask and then I will just try and deliver some air into the lungs of the patient. This is not step by step on how to resuscitate a patient's disclaimer, so don't say Becca said this. Um so the chest compressions. For the next thing I'd like to do, I'd like to I'd like to shock the patient. Um Deliver some, you know, electricity to the patient. <laughs> so um, this is the device I'll be using. I'll show you guys in a, in a bit. These are the paddles. Um, this is the amount of energy you give, and you can add. 300, I think 300 is the maximum give. So yeah, I'll be giving the patient 200 joules of shock right now. Um, when you want a shock, you have to put it here and here. Oh my gosh, you jinxed me! My needle fell off the thread! So I'll just show you guys real quick.
So right now, I'm just casually delivering this shock. And let's hope your toxic ex wakes up. If he doesn't wake, if he doesn't wake up, R.I.P. to him. Never to be missed. <laughs> so right now is the needle aspiration. I'm gonna need a needle for this. Mostly we do needle aspiration if you're not familiar with what needle aspiration is. We do it for patients that has pneumothorax when there's like a trauma and there's a collapse to the lung and then air gets into the pleural cavity. We try to take the air off. So for doing it, you need to do it in the mid clavicular line, second intercostal space. So that's where I'm looking for right now so that I can safely put the needle in to let the air out to be able to make the patient feel good. It depends if the pneumothorax is above two centimeter, I think, then you should aspirate, you should do needle aspiration. So yeah, I would just put the needle, second intercostal space, mid clavicular line. You should hear a sound, like a hissing sound, you know, when air is coming out of somewhere, you should hear it when you've safely aspirated. For now, you can see that I've safely put the needle in. For this final part, it's my teacher just showing how to do an Iowa access. So enjoy. Take the syringe with saline. Check there is something like blood, fat, or marrow. And then, if there is, you connect with this kind of adapter. Access intraosseous something. It's used to deliver bone to the drugs to the bone marrow. Here, I'm trying to do my own part, but I was struggling a bit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I struggled a bit, but I was able to do it as well, but it was a struggle. I couldn't even show the whole process of me doing it, but it was successful afterwards. So guys, I think this is the end of my video. I hope you had fun as much as I did in class today. Thank you for watching my video and see you in my next video. Kisses! If you love my content, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it. I have a lot of more content coming up.